All right, let's go ahead and start off with this then. Jin, how is this oh, moment for you? Let's start off with this. How is this <laughs> moment for you? Let's let's go with this then. Is it recording? Yes, it is. Oh, oh. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> how yeah, is this? It was it was amazing. I really didn't expect it to happen, but it happened. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the stage looks beautiful. No, a fantastic job this year. I loved it. Yeah, hats off to the team actually. The flooring. Uh, did you notice the floor? You were there throughout. I know mandala ko the prints too. So that was a surprise to me as well because I just came to know about it a day before, okay? uh -huh. and I was impressed. I was like, let's just do it. So yeah, hats off to the team. Uh, I'm Ramalta team, ISS team, sabpasana. They did mm -hmm. a fabulous job. The, no shadow of a doubt. Uh, they <laughs> did a fantastic job. Can, can you guys turn your phones on silent if you can, really can? Yeah. Jane, how is this? You are somewhere in the you. Take a your moment. Say. You were um, all by yourself at the stage at this time? I guess, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, kind of. <laughs> People are there. Um, final walk. Yeah. This is the final walk. The final walk, no. The first walk, sorry. The first walk. The first, the first walk, walk has a Miss Universe, Nepal. There you go, we got yeah, the new scooter IO. Scooter IO. I know, stage too low to you, okay? Like, I'm 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 like, it was perfect. We had a lot of space, okay? Yeah. Because now we're calling it cramped, okay? We had a lot of space. Mm. Wow. Scooter IO. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Now I think, uh, just like, can I get off the stage? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah now yeah. I remember, now I remember. Take a team to the I think you person that you want to buy together. I don't take a weird one out. This is the picture that everybody is going to use, Ni. Yeah, this was the one that was circulated the most, I think. Mm. There you are. <laughs> So as a good thing, it's been a lot of time, boy. It's a one month, one month, More than a month. More than a month. Oh, six weeks. Six weeks. Six mm. six weeks, boy. Mm. Mm. How, how is the training and how how is how how was it getting till here, Jane? Let's start off with that. How was it getting till here? Mm -hmm. Um, well, like I knew Sophia beforehand. I knew her for like maybe like two months beforehand. Mm -hmm before I applied and I was working at like a gym as like a business developer, just getting some experience. And I met her there and I was like, I really want to be Miss Universe, you know, but I don't feel confident enough. Like I'm not, I feel like I'm not, you know, big enough, like I'm not, you know, fit enough. Mm. And she was like, no, just try it, just do it. Like you can do it. And, um, and I was like overthinking about it for like two months and I was yeah. like, eh, 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 let's see, you know, and then the, Miss Universe Nepal, like, uh, ad came out, and it was like, apply, apply, and then literally, like, the day before the deadline, I applied, like, the few days before the deadline, I applied, and I was like, Ugh, fine, I'll just do it, you know, and um, at the start, I was kind of like, eh, I might not win, whatever, and even my family was kind of like, what are you doing, like, you, this is, like, a joke, or, like, you really think you'll be Miss Universe Nepal, like, my, my family said that to me, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> and um, that just kind of like motivated more, like yeah. me more to like prove them wrong and like prove myself wrong, you know, my own doubts wrong. And I felt really insecure with a lot of people. Like I would compare myself with all the girls and be like, I'm not tall enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm too fat, you know, I'm too chubby, I can't even walk. But like I just kept pushing myself and learning and eventually like towards the, especially like towards the preliminary round, mm -hmm. I really felt confident in myself after the interview. Like as I was, like a lot of people started noticing me and I was like, well, you know what? Like I can do this. I yeah. really think I can do this. And the prelims, I just gave my whole, all my best. And like from that, like I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And that's how I kind of um, pushed myself and how I won. Yeah. Good, so. <laughs> awesome, no, awesome, yeah. awesome. I, I, I remember the training days as well, you know, I remember mm -hmm. the training days as well. And to your specific, to take that leap of faith, and mm -hmm. saying, like you said, I know, I was going to do the Miss Universe 2022 like I met mm -hmm. her, and then I went ahead and asked her about it, or maybe, maybe somebody told you about it, right? To take that leap of faith to even apply, because a lot of friends, who are listening right now, mm. maybe want to apply for something in their life, right? It can be anything in life. Exactly. 
right? It, anything. It can be a job. It could, it could just go ahead and be like applying for an application to go ahead and study somewhere. Or it can be anything, right? Mm -hmm. That leap of faith. And then, do you have a moment when you risk it? Do you have a risk when you risk it? How did you cross over that? Hmm. It's very impulsive. But all my friends, like, I was, like, talking to a few of my friends, and I was like, I want to do this, but, like, I can't. You know, I'm scared. And they're like, just do it. Just do it, you know? They just kept saying that. So I had, like, friends, like, supporting me, and they were telling me, like, just go for it. Just do it. You know, like, it's you only have one life. And I was like, okay. And I just impulsively did it. And I was like, okay, I can't turn back now. <laughs> I already applied. Now it's too late. So that's how I, <laughs> I took the leap of faith. You're all in this Once you once you make that once you make that jump, there's no coming back from it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Just to make that, right? You had a good friend circle or is was this family? It was friends. Um, I was at a friend's birthday party and then Sophia was also there. And I was like, she was like, it's the last day to apply. Like, are you, aren't you going to apply? And I was like, I don't know. And she's like, just do it. And I was like, fine. And then I did it like right in front of her. <laughs> yeah. What led what led to the moment though when you think about it right mm -hmm. because from what i know you were you, you were studying nursing or you were into a lot of different things like nursing as well as you're trying to go ahead and do now you just mentioned that you were uh, trying to work at the gym as well you know so so, so how I did just, you make the pivot? i just finished my nursing well uh, congratulations degree. i mean i finished my nursing degree and then like i i like nursing i like to care for people, but that's not really my true passion. Mm. I felt like I was like, you know, kind of under pressure to have a career. You know how Nepali culture is. And, um, but like, I'm glad I have that degree as well because it's really helped me and given me a lot of experience. But uh, my true passion is like acting, modeling, you know, I like media expression of myself. So that's my true passion. And I also love business as well. So I was like trying to explore other options, you know, trying to do some modeling on the side, trying to do some, you know, business development, learning about business, market, the finances, recessions, all those things, you know, economy. So I, I had like a few different jobs, you know, for a few months, just like trying to see like what, you know, what each thing does, kind of like a internship, I guess, exposure. And then that's how I met Sophia. And then that's how I was like, okay, well, might as well just try this out as well. <laughs> the Miss Universe as well, yeah. You never know, right, what mm. works in life, especially when you're young. Uh, I know we got we to gotta go ahead and uh, try to do a lot of different things. Yeah, exactly. Especially when you're young, right? Right, Nagma, all the things that uh, we did. <laughs> <laughs> Many things. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, when he, uh, Jane is just 22, recently yeah. turned 23. When we were 20s, early 20s, even before that, Penny, we were exploring a lot. I was exploring a lot. Started working at the age of 16, I know. I didn't know I would work as a <clears throat> VJ. But then um, uh, that happened. So for me as well, I kind of relate to whatever Jane is saying. You know, it was all about exploring and trying to find what you're truly passionate about. And in that journey, I found out my passion was media and pageants. Exactly. So here I am doing the same. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I know. Jin, I don't know if you know this or not, but I used to watch Nogma's show back in the day. Kiri, what was the name of the show? The one where we... Not MOYC, the other one where we used to go to get it to interview on like What was that show called? On the Road. On the Road, on the Road. That's how I know Nogma, because she used to do this fantastic show called On the Road, I know. Yeah. I, I still remember the clips of the episodes. Kitty, you know what I'm saying? Mm. There's so many, so many people you met, no? Did you hear that? Yeah, 30 episodes, 30 different personalities. Wow. So that was a turning point in my life as well, because I never thought I would be interviewing, you know, like amazing personalities of Nepal. I was only, I think, 19 years old. Did you hear that? Oh, nice. Oh, my I mean, we would literally walk on the road and interview. So it was such a great experience for me, which uh, kind of really helped me with my connections as well. Yeah. PR building Kolagipani. Uh, so I'm grateful for that. Along along with that, one more thing that I'd like to add is it's Bakar ki baat hai social media Kosele broadcast platform kote na kote bada paya le when you media join garna la, na? I urge everybody to do it, ke? Mm. like express themselves. Kino ne? Tilly garda na, mi jaise maaz dance honi ta, inda. Absolutely, but I mean, this is the most I wish you hunt go through bada goi kete. I tell you the platform bhai ko karan ne we kind of found that found out that we were also 
made for TV or radio bhanne kura hai na so this ma chai definitely young i de pani ke bhaira cha bhanne chai it's uh, Uh, my uh, urge as well for all the young people to you know go for it and be who you are be expressive yeah. and it's a great learning platform as well i mean they take a competition no 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 it's a sanjay the pada the ki rj when it radio mathe mo cha tv ma vj ko rup mathe ta te dekhera pani this was about 10 10 12 years ago i know te dekhera tyo yora platform bhai ko karan ne ne we got to you know really try and uh, explore like what you are doing i did with miss universe nepal you know So definitely, the after they say the organic risk, go for it. But I risk say you know parsa after they after they say believe say got it. Ah, don't parsa already. So your little push can change your life for the good. Yeah. Your positive mindset goes out, ma. Exactly, Sorry. exactly. Yeah. I love, I love how we're all risk takers, and like mm. that's like formed us into who we are today. Like I love that you're so ambitious, and I see myself in you a lot, like mm-hmm. in many similar things. Absolutely, I really like that about you, and yeah. also you too. I respect you a lot. So, Th- no, thank, th- thank you, thank you so much, Jane. And uh, obviously, sitting here, I know not not just saying it the way I, uh, we're citizens, not because we're sitting here, but I was right on that stage with you, yeah. right? And to go ahead and uh, announce your name and to go ahead and see you shine right there is amazing for me and on behalf of Subhiksha as well, Amos, because we're we're, t- we're right together, right? It's yeah. fantastic, such a fantastic moment, Anthony. We both. Gen- okay, so I've hosted a lot. I've, I've, okay, I've hosted a lot of uh, events. I'm lucky that I've hosted mm-hmm. a lot of events. I know. I just think, key got key two when you order by anything. I know, maybe today I think it's you. I know, there are also maybe also two people. I'm like, this is not I. I know. We also don't. We want to. I know, as a host, I know. We also don't want to know who the winner is. Okay. Mm-hmm. We also want to find out right at the end, end okay, mm-hmm. because of the excitement. I know. It is here. I say, take it to the way we got the paper. Take it, dekhi hai, lekin wahi le. Otherwise, otherwise, it's all the next time. I know. Envelope, but I'm but nikal. So it's always so fun, and then because you also anticipate, or you are, you're also mm-hmm. like a part of the mix, and then mm-hmm. and then right at the end when you know, oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think all of this is just the head together. Yeah, next bro. time, kulagi. Tell everybody how <clears throat> difficult it was this year, Nong. Kati banne means kati banne means how difficult was it this year? Uh, to execute the show. Yeah. Um, every year has uh, come with different challenges. I would say from the beginning, nay. This year, say I was really hopeful, I know, uh, because um, pandemic pani ali koi sake ke theo. Mali sthi kore ke sudar ki bhai ko yo. Vibration. Do not disturb my rake ke theo, Mali. I'm so sorry for that. Don't worry about it. So, as Mali say, um, uh, after after uh, Sophia's representation, uh, I was there in the U.S. for a few months, and this which I came back to do this. So as Mali say, I'm very excited about I go to more because pandemic pani goi sa go to. So I say it's going to be better now. This is my fourth year already, man, right? No. So I came uh, with that mindset again to kickstart this season. But I think that people should say kind of realize that Arthik Mundi by that so economic crisis by that so whatever. So wherever I went to any for sponsorship and all, it was so difficult because everybody mm-hmm. were like, "I need that how they say na who's any corner so kind of." So my plan was to do the competition as by the early by Amro September ma by who na. I was planning to do it July ma. Mm. So sponsors or who's now out there again? Challenging, boyo. I had mm. to spend one month. My course was only for three months. I lagged this go lagged. But I'm grateful that there were sponsors by the end of the show. So challenges they prakar kor theo. But as far as I during the competition as well, you know, there were so many things happening. Ani kati paye kurar is I after I pani onse ni. Uh, I was not really uh, happy with certain things. I wanted to do it in a different way. So I really conflicts when I'm by right with you, which everybody knows, or that within the team. Oh, uh, within the team, ne? Ani the karan le pani ali kiti garo se bhayo. But having said that, um, in the end, I always looked at the bigger picture, uh, bigger purpose of doing all of this. Mali Ugarnu ko karan ne? It's for our country, Nepal. It's for all the girls who. um took a leap of faith mm. and joined us in this competition and all our partners who actually believed in this brand and supported us so in the end say 
contestants, partners, our team members, you know, Nepal lai samjira, you know. You know what? Whatever the challenge is, mm. I'm going to still do it. I'm not going to give up on you. That's a realization man bhayo. And this was she say I told myself, you know, it through I said, four years got it said, you know, about there's no looking back. Jati pani je pani bhayo, it's a part of the uh, game, you know. So to resolve who they answer, that we need to look at the bigger picture one. Mm. So here I am still continuing it and I aim to continue it Sanjay. Mm. There is challenges, there will be challenges as well for sure, you know. That uh, my dad would always say life is a challenge, fight for it, one. So the mantra lide agadi body rasu. So I'm looking forward to what's next uh, for Miss Universe Nepal pani. Fantastic. Yeah. No, best of luck to you. Thank I just want to quickly ask you this, Aina. Is it uh, economy that it's it's it's, it's down the down the drain yes. really, you know? w- Is it worth it, like in a sense, economically, to go ahead and uh, work on uh, a, a pageant to be uh, to ask you uh, um, to add to, to get a very truthful answer? Absolutely. Um, so. Uh, it is worth it for sure. Mm. Um, economically, matter so them. Economically as well. Uh, but then I kind of knew from the beginning itself, you know, when I took the Miss Universe franchise, I did tell myself, you know, three to four years, mm-hmm. three to four years, mm-hmm. three to four years, say, it's going to be challenging. I have to build my brand. Mm-hmm. But at this point, she say, it's going to be a stable one. Say, I mentally prepared myself when I took the franchise, uh, 2020. Ma. But uh, it, uh, after I came back, the COVID pandemic mm-hmm. and Arctic Mandi, you know, mm-hmm. that all came to me as a surprise. So they anusarle hamle competition lani mold gorium digitally pani logium, I know. So this is work gorde him. That Miss Universe pani competition. This is the seventy second Miss Universe. Yeah. This has been going on for so many years, I know. Mm-hmm. There's a reason why this is going on for so many years as well, economically or financially viable. Na bhaye ka bhaye. Maybe you yeah, can yeah, buy yeah. yeah. right? So the example later say, I know this is worth giving a shot. There is something to look forward to, even economically. But a wholesome intent for this is definitely just mm-hmm. to do it for Nepal, just to represent Nepal in the best way possible. So economically, say, Marakali kai say, Arikati, good way ma charity got Rakus to feel on Samalaya. Tara, Japani kam gonna lie, Afulai financially penny stable, Hunani parsa, when it's a realization many bayo after I started doing all of this. Tara, in the cup in the last few years, say, Garo Thio, Tarapani. Uh, there's always a solution, okay? Mm-hmm. So last mm-hmm. match, hey, we've always gotten good sponsors. We've always done the show in the end, you know, that uh, it could have been better, and I hope it'll be better in the coming days, say, this whole economic crisis or and war or rule, stop, who about you? I know. I know. This matter, no, no shadow of a doubt. Yeah. This year was different. Uh, this year was kind of different, you know, mm-hmm. because especially co criteria, because I was, this was the first time I was involved, right? even though I've spoken with you before and as well. Right? Is the criteria have been different to you? What was uh, added this year? As far as say, married women, pregnant women, mothers, divorcees, separated women, they were allowed to compete. So this year we had two married women who both of them made it to the top five. Mm-hmm. And in coming year, they can say there is uh, no age criteria. So uh, 18 years and above, you can participate Any in this university. Till? Any age. There's no limit. There is no limit. So, yeah, I'm excited for that, too. Uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be super interesting. <laughs> it's going to be super interesting. Are you going to participate? I cannot. Or like, <laughs> hey, I wish I could. Uh, like, once so you're I already think, that, you can never yeah, come. Yeah, I don't out. think so. Once you've already participated, participated. you can't participate oh. again. Mm. Yeah. If you're the winner, right? If you're the winner. And protocol, I'm going to give you a national director. I'm going to give you a national director. So, yeah. And uh, this year was special as well because if I'm not mistaken, from this year on, I think last year brought it to you, we also had uh, friends from the LGBTIQ community to, uh, yeah, yeah. being a yeah. part of it. This year we had this Sarusi. Year, Sarusi, yes. Yeah, I know. Oh. Was it from this year or uh, previous year? Uh, the Sarusi this year, but uh, we started this from 2020 itself. So 2020, we had Angel Lama, our first transgender oh, yeah. representative. Oh. 
And then second year, my gap year, third year, ma, we had Anu and Mol Chetri mm. from Butwal. And this year, we have Sarosi. So, yeah, it's exciting. So from <laughs> next year onwards, say there's no no, no age, age limit, no age oh limit. And I've heard a few rumors about few people joining, and <laughs> I'm excited about that. Yeah, for sure, people are already excited yeah, for next year. Yeah. A lot of friends want to go ahead and take the leap of faith, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How was it growing up, though? How was it growing up for you? Growing up? Yeah. How was it growing up? How, how were you when you? Uh, you came to Nepal. You I think came to Nepal. Yeah. How, how was yeah. it? Um, it was it was fun, but it was also like difficult for me because I was like 11, like right at the ripe age. You know, I was 10, 11 years old, and it was right at the right ripe age of like puberty, growing up, and. Um, I got like bullied a lot. I couldn't, I, I had like really, really low like self esteem, social anxiety. And I had friends uh, at Kisk. I used to go to Kisk actually. So you moved from uh, the, States. the States to Nepal around yeah. when you were in 10, 10, to 10. 10, yeah. Okay. And then we moved here and I went to like an international school where th again, there's like 30 different countries there in that school. So it's like 30 different cultures, you know. And I never really learned Nepali that well because it was all English, English, and English. Oh. And um, yeah, it was like very interesting because I kind of always stood out. I was always different from everybody else. I didn't fit in. And I used to be like, why am I like this? You know, why, why do I not fit in? I wish I had a group. But I've never been a part of groups, you know. Yeah. And I've actually I've embraced that because I feel like I'm like a lone wolf. But I kind of embrace it. I like it about me because I like being like a lone wolf, a person, you know, that set like goes out and sets her own path. I mm. don't follow the the normal path that everybody else takes. Mm. I like that. So basically you moved when you were 10 and then mm -hmm. you joined the school where you can speak the language, mm -hmm. kind of. Mm -hmm. And how did friends take you at that time? Sorry? How were friends at that time? You had to make new friends? Yeah, I had a few friends like each year people would come and go like it was an international school so every year people would leave and come leave and come so it's like i would make a friend and then they would leave and then so it was very difficult it was like oh, sometimes i would have friends sometimes i wouldn't have friends and i would get bullied a lot and i would like i was like isolated a lot as well but um eventually like i graduated very early i graduated at 17 and then i went to nurse i took like a gap year yeah and then i went to nursing school so even nursing school was even more challenging because I, I did not know nepali and I had to like learn Nepali and like everybody was just speaking in Nepali, Nepali, Nepali. And I literally taught myself the whole nursing course in English. Like I taught myself. I don't even like, cause I don't, I don't even understand the teachers. I was just reading the books and taught myself the whole course and I finished nursing. <laughs> but she speaks Nepali. But, I, but now I speak it. Now oh, I speak Nepali. Terrible. I learned it now. Like over the course of the nursing period, I had to learn Nepali. I, t I took tutoring. We had to also give a Nepali exam. So I did that whole exam and I wow. passed on the first try. So I really worked hard and thought of Firi Birsiu Nepali. Because practice I know. Rasu re dirga mai hoon te mere birsi ni mai nege. Mele rasu dirga bigaat nege. Sobse dheere hai ne. Mere rasu re dirga zain elga di phutki nege mero hai ne. Tiyo challenge tiyo ge malai. Like ne aunsa tarah bolne aunde na mero. I can read, I can write, I can understand. But then bolne, I don't know why. It's like so hard for me to like speak proper sentences. Because you lived abroad. Maybe one of the reasons. That's probably that's one yeah. of the reasons. But she's why. lived here more than exactly. abroad. At the age of 10, money, but she's like 13 uh, years. 13 so. years. At in home, Nepal. do you speak? No, we only speak English, so there's like no practice. Oh. Oh. But I'm trying my best. No. Mom's like, you in Never. Never. I'm a I'm a song. I'm a song. Exactly. She's uh, from Nepal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Malay personally, our new language is not much. I know my sister is from Malaysia. I know my neighbor is from Malaysia. New are you? Oh, I'm Malay. I'm Malay. I'm Malay. <laughs> Completely awesome, Not bad. Session with me, Abba. Uh, no, that's my plan. And I, I always wanted to learn a new different language, but I don't know. The older you get, the harder it is to go ahead and learn. That's what I've. Mm. That's what somebody no, told me. But I don't just, know. No, it's yeah. easier. It's just as you have so many things going on, and uh, it's just you have to focus. Mm. Dude, that's just a myth. Older you go, it's, it's harder grow, to learn a language. Harder, whenever, right? I know, I know. That's what I was thinking too. So maybe, maybe learning a new language. If you had to pick a language, what's the next language that you're gonna learn? I guess Spanish, because I'm going to El Salvador. Oh. <laughs> I know, like I know, like Hola. Poquito, poquito. poquito. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Oh yeah, Ali, Ali, okay, Ali, uh, Ali, Ali. But you, uh, do you know uh, uh, Spanish? Adeni, uh, shabdaru. 
No hablo español. No hablo español. Me llamo Jane. 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 I thought mi amor had to do mi mi amor, my mi amo. No, no, mi amor is my love. Oh, my love. Uh. Mi amo. Mi, mi amo is my name. Oh, mi amo. Mi amo Nagma. Oh. Mi amo Sanje. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> mi amor. Mi amor, yeah. Oh, this was a good oh. one. Too. Oh, nice, man. So, basically, one of the things that I kind of had to touch base on was something that you'd mentioned where you talked about a revolution when it comes to talking about mental health. Right, mm-hmm. just the gist that you had given. Right, a lot of friends I'm sure who have watched Miss Universe, who've seen you uh, on the stage, mm. definitely want are thinking that if I can go ahead and do it too, mm-hmm. right, that push. A lot of friends mm-hmm. want that push. Right, mm-hmm. a lot of friends might be bullied. They are being bullied right now as well, mm. as they are listening to this. Mm-hmm. They are probably at home. And in the afternoon or in the morning or in the evening, they got bullied at school yep. or they got bullied in college or they got bullied mm. at work. Mm. You never know. You do get bullied at work, too, yes. because mm. mm-hmm. that's something that we constantly not, don't talk about. But there mm. are a lot of people who get bullied at work as well, not that's just by their boss, but by their colleagues or by people who they're associated with. Mm. Right. Mm. Overcoming that fear. I still get bullied. <laughs> but you you still get bullied? <gasps> I got bullied yesterday. <laughs> she sends me text. Oh my God, I'm, I'm, this happened. I'm going like, to calm down, please. What Love happened? them. <laughs> what happened? No, I mean, this, um, this Indian influencer person who owns a magazine starts texting me and saying, you're obese. You'll never be Miss <gasps> Universe. The Look scene. at you, 100 kgs girl. Like, haha, you, I wanted to be featured in my magazine. Like, I just texted him and I was like, hi, I'm trying to, like, do some PR, you know, online because I'm trying to promote Nepal as much as I can. So I just texted a bunch of different magazines and, you know, just, like, you know, oh, trying to build so up mean. PR. And this person was so rude to me. And I was like, what is wrong with you? Like, like I was like, what have I done to you? Have I done something? And apparently I think his ego got hurt. Or something like that. I don't know what happened. But um, that was, like, really rude, like, the way he was speaking to me. And I just blocked him and I reported his page. But, like, I kind of, like, doubted myself for, like, five minutes. And I was like, you know what? I don't care what this person says. Like, he doesn't define me. And I'm still going to win. And I've already won. And I'm still going to do my best at Miss Universe. So a lot of people bully me still. Mm. (laughs) But, um, I mean, like, I'm trying my best to lose weight. I'm trying my best to be healthy. But, like... I don't think it's important to be like super skinny. I think it's important to be healthy and to have a healthy hormonal and mental health. I think that's more important than just being like a stick thin, you know, doing surgery and that kind of stuff. I'm trying my best and it's really difficult, but I think I've lost a little bit of weight. And as long as I look toned and healthy, like I'm happy. Mm. Till the time you feel healthy as well. Yeah. Right. Because it's all in the mind as well. Mm. Right. You have to go ahead and. Uh, at the end of the day, it's all the mind, right? Mm-hmm. How, what do you think of what do you when, when I talk when when I just said that, right? When when I just said that, how do you make you feel? Like when when we think of mental health, because I kind of have a feeling that's the most important thing. You believe in that? Of course. Uh, a lot of people think it's you know, ooh, it's you're mentally ill, like it's so weird. You know, they have a lot of stigma about yeah. that. But I think it's really important to have awareness about this and to also have compassion about mental illness because one in four people have mental illness. Mm. And I mean, I've struggled with it as well. I've struggled with mental illness and it's related to hormonal health as well, hormonal imbalances. And if we are not aware of this, if we are not supporting each other, like how can we get better? How can we improve as a society? And right now it's so important because in society, there's so much technology, there's so much stress, there's so much pressure everywhere and mental illnesses are increasing, increasing day by day. Mm. And if we do not support each other, if we do not love each other, if we continue this bullying mindset, this criticism mindset, judgment, stigma, it's not gonna get better. Like people are like, the suicide rates are literally increasing every day. Suicide, depression, anxiety, all these things. And we really have to, you know, bring awareness and support and lower the judgment 
I think it's really important. L- <laughs> lure the judgment. I I, re- I really like that. That's a, such a fantastic line that oh, you just yeah. said. Lure the judgment and, if possible, <clears throat> eliminate it. Yeah, and I'm not afraid of people mm. judging me anymore. Mm. Mm. I mean, before, even my parents were like, oh, don't talk about, like, your mental health. Like, don't talk about that stuff. But, like, I'm not sharing all the details. But I think it is important to express and to share, like, what I've been through and, like, what I have been, I have struggled with because that will also inspire and help people to over to also overcome what they are going through what mm. they are struggling with so that, like even if i could help one person like that is that will make me so happy because i know what it's like to you know want to hurt yourself want to die like completely be hopeless in life i know what it's like to feel that way and even if i could just help one person like it doesn't matter that's what makes me happy if i could just give hope to one person so I, i'm not afraid of sharing my experiences yeah, that's fantastic, and I'm sure somebody who's listening at this moment uh, gets that off from you and keeps spreading that. Mm. One thing that I wanted to t- touch base on was the amount of... Uh, uh, I've come to realize after starting this podcast that all the comments that we get, that's kind of made me a better person, right? Mm. I've, I've, I've become slightly thicker. My skin's become slightly thicker mm-hmm. after getting like thousands of comments, mm-hmm. good and bad. Yeah. Some death threats here and there. Oh <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> once in a once in a blue. Oh my gosh. Right? Uh, <laughs> after winning, right? After being Miss Universe in about 2023. Uh, have you has the thin uh, has the skin become thicker when it comes to uh, people uh, commenting, especially digitally? Mm-hmm. Yeah, before I would like look at the comments and I would be like, I would laugh, but I would also like doubt myself. But now I don't even look at any comments. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I'm just focused on my goal. And my goal is to represent Nepal and to win for Nepal, for myself and for millions of people. So that's my goal and that's what I'm doing. So I'm not going to get distracted by people that don't have a life or that want to criticize because there will always be critics. Always. No matter what you do, there's always going to be a critic. But it doesn't matter. You listen to yourself. That's what's important. Always, but your eyes tend to go ahead and go towards that one negative comment, exactly, rather than seeing the 99 positive, yeah, ones, exactly, right? right? Yeah, like I'll see like 10 positive comments and then I'll see one comment and I'll be like, Ugh. <laughs> any, any, any uh, positive ones that have really made you feel like, okay, all right, all right, all right. Mm-hmm. Do you yeah. look at the comments? Actually? Yeah, sometimes, uh, I've seen them and I felt like really like happy, you know, even I got like personal messages and they were like, you're so inspiring. Like you have no idea how many people you're inspiring. You have no idea how much I feel represented. And I felt so happy. Like just like reading that, that makes mm. me feel so good. Like I feel like really, you know, supported and I'm really happy that I'm able to represent people. And that, that that one negative comment. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> block. <laughs> yeah, I just block. So, what is your name? And you know, so, what is your name? 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 Especially, do you have a platform? Say, platform, my name is on the platform. TikTok is a platform. Could I platform? TikTok platform, like you could have got them. I know the comment section is third or like this. It's third or like this. I know YouTube name on the comment section kind of kills you. Yeah. A lot of friends. Who have actually sat down and talked right here in my table mm. have been very, very hurt and torn by the comment section, mm, right? True. The way you said it, pretty calmly, right? Tell everybody how to do that, Jane. Like, how to not look at a negative comment and feel very, very hurt. How to, how to go ahead and do that. Hmm. From whatever you've learned in X amount of time. So, well, what has helped me to improve my mental health and my confidence is my positive self-talk. It's very important. I used to talk down at myself a lot. You know, I'm fat. I'm ugly. I'll never succeed. Oh, there's no point to life. Just die. I used to talk to myself like that. And, um, but now, like, I really had to rewire my brain and, Mm. you know, do it. I have to, like, transform the way I thought, you know. And... I, it took me like many, many years actually to finally get to that point where yeah. like I'm positive. Like it's like all brainwashed and like every thought, almost every thought I think is like positive, positive, positive. So I just tell myself like even if I read a negative comment, I'm just like, you know what? It doesn't matter. That's their opinion. Let them think whatever they want. I know who I am. I'm not going to worry about it. 
um, you know, he, he might say I'm 100 kgs, but I'm not 100 kgs. I know my weight. I know what I'm going through. And I don't care what this person thinks about me because I know my worth. And they can put me down as much as they want, but I'm beautiful just the way I am. Like, I just talk to myself in a very positive way. And even if it does bother me, it did bother me for a few minutes. Yeah. It did put me in a little bad mood because, like, that was, like, really hardcore bullying, like, the way that person was talking to me. But, like, I just blocked them and I reported them and I was like, you know what? I send you love. Like, I just try to send positive energy, you know? It's okay. You have to just forgive and move on and just focus on your goal. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And, and good that you can do that instantly, mm -hmm. you know? Because a lot of friends will keep that negative energy for a long time. Mm -hmm. Not just for a few minutes, but it, it mm -hmm. might stay with them for hours, days. Some I know that keep it for years and years. Oh, God, mm -hmm. no. You know, and I do know that, that people have kept it for years and years. And uh, again, happened yesterday, might happen tomorrow too, mm -hmm. might happen after a month, but you keep moving forward. Yeah. Right. That's the, that's the attitude that you got to keep. Mm -hmm. What do you say to yourself every single day? That's one mantra that you say to yourself every single day, if you had to go out and think about it. Yeah. I just keep saying affirmations to myself. So mm -hmm. I just say, I'm enough. I'm worthy. I already have the crown on my head. Like, I just keep, you know, positive. I just, I'm very focused. And, you know, it doesn't matter. Even if my, even if I don't have that much support from my country or, I mean, my country is supporting me. I know that. But even if, you know, we are struggling with eco economy and, like, there isn't that much support from, you know, financial support or things like that. Even if that is not happening, like, I have God on my side. Mm. God is still with me. And... If this is meant to be, like, if this is my destiny, it's going to happen. So no matter what, I'm just focusing on myself, and I'm going to push myself to do whatever is best. So I just keep saying that to myself every single day, because sometimes I compare a lot <laughs> to other countries, you know? Yeah. Just like, well, you know, they have everything, they're getting everything done for them, and, like, <laughs> we don't, you know, like, we have, we've had challenges right now, and it's been six weeks. Like, I've only had six weeks to prepare ever, like, for the whole competition and like that's kind of scary but every single day i push myself i've worked like 12 to 14 to 16 hours a day like just working and working and working on myself mm. and i really pushed myself and i was like you know what i'm not going to compare anymore like it's done now there's nothing i can do about it all i can do is move forward and just give my best so i just that's what i keep telling myself every day but um yeah sorry i don't think i answered your no, question no 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 don't worry about <laughs> it you you definitely did yeah Doing your own PR, right? That's yeah. some, that's something that's very interesting because mm -hmm. we have to do a lot of things by ourselves. Mm -hmm. If you, if you want to get out there, then you have to you have to do a lot of things mm -hmm. that you probably do not want to go ahead and do, right? Mm -hmm. Doing your own PR is one of the things, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm happy that you're doing that. Nongma, aren't you happy that Absolutely. she's pushing it? Yeah, uh, she takes. Uh, a initiative, you know, Afeline, you're going to burst it, you're going to burst oh. it, which has really made uh, it also easier for us. And we are also motivated to, you know, maybe, yeah. Ostipani, she was like, I want to learn uh, a particular thing in social media. About it. And then I connected her with people. But then it was her saying it, okay, so it was not the other way around. So I like that. And she's been building it. Uh, social media, when her social media started with a thousand followers, now is 41 point something with a blue tick. So that happened in a span of, what, two weeks? Fantastic. So she, two weeks, two, three weeks? One month, I guess. One month, summer. Yeah. Blue tick, say. So it's Instagram, surely. <laughs> <laughs> to so she's uh, been really active. And I'm like, Jane, you have to teach me how to do this. So um, there's so many things that I'm also learning from her. Right. And I'm so proud that um, she came out from that uh, phase in her life took the uh, leap of faith and came and participated in Miss Universe Nepal, broke all the stereotypes and actually won Miss Universe Nepal. So that's her Instagram, yeah. Fantastic. 41 with six now. That's, okay. a, that's, a, that's a lot of followers in two weeks. <laughs> uh, so it, it's just going up and up. And she's super active in her Instagram as well. So that's good. Yeah, trying my best to promote yeah. myself and my country and... Mm. Uh, really trying my best to post reels every day, TikToks, everything, you know, because, yeah, we need to win. That, that's the thing that you got to do, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of friends expect things to happen to them. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. It doesn't work Let's that do way. It. 
I know Nagma is not here just because uh, something was handed to her, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. She worked really hard for that. Nagma, I've known you for such a long time, yeah. right? You have to do a lot of work. 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 पनि गर्दैन यदि हामीले पहिलो एउटा इनिसिएसन लिएनौ भने कसैले गर्छ त यू ह्याभ टु क्रिएट द्याट इन्भाइरोमेन्ट फर योर सेल्फ फर पिपल टु इभन कम एन्ड सपोर्ट यू यू ह्याभ टु लेट द युनिभर्स नो द्याट यू आर वान्टिङ टु डु दिस भन यू कुरा सो इट ह्याज टु स्टार्ट फ्रम यू नो बडी इज गन कम एन्ड गिभ यू अ मिलियन डलर इज जस्ट एट दि के हुन्छ नि यू ह्याभ टु रिडी क्रिएट द्याट इन्भाइरोमेन्ट फर योर सेल्फ एन्ड The, that's what I've been doing. Uh, I work really hard, really, really, mm. really hard. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I remember the days from Malan Java ko baira kere coffee khaira din dehi aile sama oda kere na. I know all those days, especially when you started uh, Miss Universe. I didn't know what uh, was going to happen. Ke hunsa ka so hunsa tara. I just had a clear uh, end goal. That is to give a great platform for all the aspiring beauty queens, whoever plans to come for Miss Universe Nepal, to give a stable environment and a proper um, experience, which uh, was kind of lacking by the Nepal. Ma. So, you have a goal, you have to do it, 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 you have to do it. Yeah, even yeah. when I was young, I was like, why is there no Miss Universe in Nepal? Because, like, I've mm. always, since I was a child, like, I always loved Miss Universe, like, especially Miss Universe. That was my dream to, like, be a Miss Universe when I was a kid as well. And that dream faded away over time, but then mm. it came back. And even when I, like, saw, like, you know, Miss Universe, I would look at all the countries and I was like, where's Nepal? Where's Nepal? And then she finally brought that and I was, like, so happy. Mm. Like, I didn't know her before, but then I, you know, I didn't even know that there was a Miss Universe Nepal, literally, until mm. last year. And I was like, wow, like, it's really grown a lot and it's, it's becoming more stable and stable each yeah. year. So I'm really happy about that. Good yes. job. Thank you. Start going with you, Kai Bata. Somebody might like going to suck dinner when I run money to that. Funny, I was like, I'll make it happen when it is so. Got the boy man to date. Oh, it the gay nagma go and any connections and all of that. But freaking I had to work for a very long time mm. to get to Miss Universe and to represent Nepal and uh, to bring it in Nepal. So. I'm glad to see you in center now. Uh, winners like her participating, representing, sharing her side of the story, inspiring other uh, people all around the world. So that's, uh, it's worth it. Onseni, economically and uh, economically <laughs> side marakum, but it's definitely worth it. Uh, Nakma, I, I wanted to ask you this, you know, since you're talking, we're to talk about business, you know? Mm. Uh, just, just you always base. ask me touch about base. business here. Touch base, right? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I've known you for a, a long time, Nita. Right? Uh, taking that move, okay, why am I asking you this? Because a lot of friends are, who listen to the show want to probably go out and they don't see a future here mm. at all. You know, this is my boss, you know, it's not a problem, you know, it's not a problem. Most probably, it's not a problem, you know, it's not a problem, you know. You decided to go out and start a business here, do a lot of things here. Mm-hmm. I'll, 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 I'll say it a business, right? because you turned your passion into business. Mm-hmm. It is a business at the mm-hmm. end of the day, right? What would you want to go out and say to somebody who is thinking of turning their passion into a lucrative business, which might work, might not work, you never know, yeah. right? But it's a passion, right? and mm-hmm. you t- turn it into a business. What do you want to go out and say to them? If it's your passion, then uh, you definitely have to do it because business karni, ita karni, atwa baira karni, bidesma karni, te tine effort lagsa tapai lai. Tara tapai ko passion ho bhani chai, you will never give up on this. And so, baira challenges huncha, ita pani challenges huncha, challenges bibhinna prakar ko auna saksa. Tara pani having said that, say, you have to believe in that passion. त्यो बाट स्टार्ट करू आर अलरेडी हाफ वे थ्रू द होल बिजनेस को प्लांग फेज है 
the other half say you really need to uh, practically plan out uh, business plan garni dekhi lera ke ke sa challenges yo country ma ke ke sa plus points ha hamle jaile pani hamro mindset nepal ko bare ma it's a poor country it's very difficult mm. even family bata pani bhancha haina uh, news ma pani hamle tei dekh sam kati brain drain bhaira kati jana videshi mm. eka chhan bhanne kura haru tara आपूले मैं जैसे मत यूएस में बस रहे पे आई वाज स्टार्टिंग देर आई वाज कैंड वर्किंग एज वेल तर आई डिसाइड टू लिव एवरीथिंग एंड कम बैक टू नेपाल अंड यूएस जैसे लैंड अफ अपर्चुनिटीज खतरा मार्केटिंग भो है लैंड अफ अपर्चुनिटीज अभी सो मेनी पीपल वॉन्ट्स टू गो टू द यूएस बिकज इज लैंड अफ अपर्चुनिटीज बट वट आई थोल माइ सेल्फ वॉज वन आई डिसाइड टू एक्चुअली कम बैक टू नेपाल आई हेड टू कन्विंस माइ फैमिली पी दे वर नट हेपी विथ माइ डिशन टू कम बैक टू नेपाल सो आई थोल माइ सेल्फ इफ यूएस is a land of opportunity nepal is a land where we create opportunities so that is what that is what really you know uh inspired or mm. motivated me um also to come back to nepal i'm actually creating opportunities here for myself mm. for other people there are mm. so many team members i know mm. who come and work with us every year more than 50 plus uh, almost 100 dancer uh, mm. final show samata there are so many girls who now can actually dream about going to miss universe freaking the biggest competition for mm. any beauty pageant aspirants or any for mountaineers i think the goal is to go to mount everest once in their life one so for beauty pageant aspirants it's miss universe okay mm. सो ते एटा क्रिएट पी कर पाए सो अई नो दर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स हेपनिंग इन आवर कंट्री बट दर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स हेपनिंग इन अदर कंट्रीज इज वेल के तर हमें जैसे गुड साइड देख अरु कंट्रीज को अंड बैड साइड आपने कंट्री को आपको जन्मथलोला कर्मथलो कसरी बनाने भाई कुरा में यू रियली नीड टू थिंक फर्स्ट बिलिव इन योर सेल्फ तो छद तर यू कैर बिलिव इन दिस कंट्री एज वेल कति पोटेन्शियल भाई देर आर पोलिटिकल इंस्टेबिलिटी तर ते भैर तर देर इज अनदर साइड अफ इट एज वेल पैला मैं मिस यूनिवर्स को बारे में कुरा पीपल वुड बी लाइक इट्स वेरी एक्सपेन्सिव वी आर अ वेरी पोअर कंट्री वी कैन नट डू इट है बच्चा बेला देखि नहीं वी बीन लर्निंग इन आवर स्कूल दैट वी आर एन अंडर डेवलप्ड कंट्री और डेवलपिंग कंट्री बने थर्ड वर्ल्ड कंट्री बने रिकोनोमिकली एकदम कमजोर कंट्री बने दैट हेज बीन फेड इन आवर माइंड के ओ दिस कंट्री इज लाइक घन बने But then uh, one thing was not shared to us when we were kids as well. This country is a small country, but with resources. Not many resources, or but with some resources. So let's utilize the resources that we have. Pani kura se ali kiti thi na pa ila ko amra sikai ma, bujai ma pani. Tar yu kura se maile afule afulai se samjhai, bujai. Afule research pani kare. Maile yu kura start ko na kare. I also researched. Costo sare se Nepal ko market. Costo sare se. यता बिजनेस करने भाइबल छाने कुरा सो तो इफ यू गाइज आर थिंकिंग अबाउट इन्वेस्टिंग हियर इफ यू गाइज आर थिंकिंग अबाउट वर्किंग इन दिस कंट्री डू योर साइड अफ रिसर्च एज एज वेल विदेश जान को लगी हमें कति पढ़े जान आयल्स कर जीआरई कर दस एंड दैट बाहर को बारे में सीटी को बारे में सब बुझे जान तर अपने देश को बारे में अलग बुझीदी तो करे आई थिंक यू विल नो अ लट मोर अबाउट what is possible in our country uh risk lena parsa tara calculative risk so you have to really plan out everything mm. before you and any um jump into doing anything anywhere in the world eh? not mm. just for our country tara uh nepal ma chai maile dheri potential dekhsu aile pani dekhsu there are so many things i still want to do you know miss universe lamo samay dekhi garna ichha thyo garere dekhaye now people know that hey it's possible right sa bhanera mm. and i know so many people are also inspired by mm. this because they come to me and tell me oh we never thought yeah this would happen in our country but it happened when it our next goal to win miss universe now jane is carrying that goal for us i know she wants to win miss universe for our country nepal imagine if we win miss universe for our country and let's just imagine that we've already won हमारे कंट्री को कस्त होना टूरिज्म देखे सब में इफेक्ट हो सो दैट इज माई फोर्टे मे मेरे फील्ड अभी पैजेंट्री मीडिया में भग मैं तेई कु को रिसर्च करें तेई कु कर रहा हजर अर को अब डिफ्रेंट डिफ्रेंट कुछ करना चाहूँ हो टेक्नोलॉजी में जैसे आई नो वी हेव टू गो टू द स्टेट्स और इंडिया और कता कता हो इंडिया जो देश जो इट वॉज नट एज डेवलप्ड एज नेपाल वॉज हो हंड्रेड इयर्स को 
तर पनि इन्डियाले चेन्ज गरे आफ्नो होल पर्सेप्सन इकोनोमी एडुकेशन सो सबै कुरा चेन्ज भएर अहिले कति डेभलप छ राइट सो आफूले चाहिँ हरेक मान्छेले चाहिँ जसरी आई एम हियर पोजिटिभली थिङ्किङ अबाउट माई कन्ट्री एन्ड डुइङ थिङ्स लाइक यू आर हियर डुइङ इट एन्ड लाइक जेन इज हियर हुन्छ नि रिप्रेजेन्टिङ हर कन्ट्री सो तपाईँले पनि गर्न सक्नुहुन्छ यू जस्ट कार बिलिव इन योर सेल्फ डु योर रिसर्च इट इज पोसिबल सो दिस इज अ ल्यान्ड वेर वी क्रिएट अपर्चुनिटिज फर श्योर नो सेट अफ डाउट अन द्याट भेरी वेल सेट होइन या अपर्चुनिटिज यति धेरै छन् होइन हामीले त्यो देख्नु मात्र पर्छ होइन र त्यो कतिजना साथीहरूले त्यो अपर्चुनिटी खोजी पनि रहनु भएको होला बसेर गर्न चाह्यो भने चाहिँ सकिन्छ पनि तर जो बाहिर जाँदै हुन्छ फेरि जानुहोस् सिक्नुहोस् एक्सप्लोर गर्नुहोस् आउनुहोस् आउनुहोस् एब्सुलुटली ओ माई गड इट बी वर्थ इट फर श्योर एक्स डु मी अ फेभर हिजोबाट प्रधानमन्त्री प्रचण्डको नेतृत्वमा चाहिँ यो गभर्मेन्टले चाहिँ विदेशमा बसेका विदेशी नागरिकता र विदेशी पासपोर्ट लिएका साथीहरूलाई चाहिँ नेपाली नागरिकता दिने चाहिँ हिजोबाट चाहिँ सुरु गरेको छ एनआरएनलाई चाहिँ नेपाली नागरिकता दिने सुरु गरेको छ होइन यो यस्तो या सो एनी सिटिजन एनी नेपाली सिटिजन होइन मम ओर ड्याड इफ दे वर एभर नेपाली सिटिजन्स होइन एनी बडी हुज मम ओर ड्याड इफ दे वर एभर नेपाली सिटिजन्स क्यान बी क्यान गेट अ नेपाली एनआरएन सिटिजनशिप सो नाउ यू क्यान डेफिनेट गो एड एन्ड गेट अ नेपाली सिटिजनशिप इट्स कल अ नेपाली सरी इट्स कल अ एनआरएन नन रेजिडेन्सियल नेपाली सिटिजनशिप एन्ड फ्रम द फर्स्ट अफ कहिले छ कार्तिकी मङ्सिर ड्युअल सिटिजनशिप हुन्छ होइन सो एक्सिओ जुन भए पनि एउटा आर्टिकल देखाउँछ यी कान्ति बुरु गरे पनि हुन्छ अनलाइन सेतो जताको गरे पनि हुन्छ होइन तर व्हाट इफ दे चेन्ज इट फेरि द गभर्नमेन्ट दे चेन्ज द रुल्स एभ्री फाइव दे चेन्ज द युज लाइक एभ्री फाइव मिनट्स यू नो लाइक आई थिंक दिस विल स्टे दिस इज गोइंग टू स्टे दिस इज गोइंग टू स्टे होइन सो दैट्स द ऑप्टिमिस्टिक थॉट प्रोसेस एंड एनआरएनस कैन अप्लाई फॉर नेपाल सिटिजनशिप फ्रॉम अब्रॉड एज अ राउंड ऑफ अप्लाउस फॉर दिस amazing non resident nepali <laughs> I was waiting for this for years able to apply the nepali citizenship from abroad itself you right? know uh, so this is the third amendment of the citizenship uh, regulation and uh, basically you can go ahead and get it from embassies or oh, consulates say. as well <laughs> All right, zoom out Ooh, text. Zoom out your September 21 ko bhayo babu. October ko gara ta. Online khabar yo galat matra hai ni yo ali purana bhayo hai na e kanti puru jaudu. यो अलि पुरानो भयो यी गान्तीपुर जाऊ प्रधानमन्त्री प्रश्नले दिएकै सबैजनालाई देखाउन अलि तल जाऊ त देयर यो हो ल माथिको हो त्यही अ एडभर्टिजमेन्ट गर्दै हैन ल सरकारले चाहिँ गयर आवश्यक नेपालीलाई नागरिकता प्रदान गर्न थालेको छ अलि तल जाऊ यो तस्बिर पनि देखौ एनआरएनको अध्यक्षले चाहिँ दिएको जस्तो लाग्छ मलाई प्रधानमन्त्री प्रश्नले हैन हो त आफ्नो निवासमा चाहिँ कार्यकारी अध्यक्ष बद्री केसी र अध्यक्ष कुल आचार्यले चाहिँ गैर आवश्यक नागरिकता प्रदान गरिदै है नि त जुम आउट कहिलेको हो यो देरी सो दिस इज अ न्यू फ्रेस स्टार्ट होइन यो सँगसँगै चाहिँ अब विदेशमा जति साथीहरू बसिरहनु भएको छ होइन जसले चाहिँ them as well come mm-hmm. open a business yeah bring yeah. the bring the x amount of dollars yes. euros pounds Absolutely. whatever it's called and i'm just be a part of small the table yeah say made up any urge to the government how is the man here up i know we'll come back to nepal and do it when you are so it's uh there are so many others who are thinking of doing the same bunny that uh is there any government place to such bad about and when i didn't buy a policies or earlier meant got it uh it investment corny on any part or holy dinner by when it's a it's even convenient because I talk to a few of my friends as well I know Jose Bayrako citizenship later boss na bako so tara te pani kai kai badhyata ko karan le testo garna paryo tara they still love their country and they still want to do so much for their country you know tara this is such a great step to kick start all of this but there are so many other things when policies ma jam and garna parne kura haru so recently i found out that um even if you invest here you earn a lot of profit but you you're not allowed to take it out i know so but to uh, profit pani ya invest garna allow cha ki chaina tesma pani there is a question mm. mark raisa ke so byra lane na dine ta thike sa tara tyo paisa la ta eta utilize garna dinu paryo ni ta so tyo kura pani arikati 
simplify it, it will be much better okay, mm-hmm. for our mm-hmm. business community as well. Bharat is like Bharat, right? China is like China, right? Exactly. So the government also needs to give us a favorable environment. We are excited to do so many things in our country, but they need yeah. to support D- us. This is, a, this is a good start by the government, right? By the Absolutely. coalition government, right? You know, you are a very good start, especially if you are a very good government. Yeah. Yeah. पछि <laughs> I really didn't know much about it recently. Recently, I found out a little bit about it because somebody very close to me as well uh, is going through uh, what probably you Easy were ways. going through or you are going through. Right? I just wanted to touch base on this so that we can raise slight awareness about uh, uh, PCOS. Can you mm. tell a little bit about it? If it's okay with you. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, um, I have PCOS and it's called polycystic ovarian syndrome. And it's basically a hormonal ba- imbalance of the ovaries. So the ovaries, you know, it's in women. And our hormones are all mixed up. And basically, like, the ovaries produce high levels of testosterone, which affects our fertility rates, which affects our weight gain, our weight loss. And it causes mood swings. It causes hair growth. So, like, sometimes we have beards. Get that just think so. And, too. yeah, we have more masculine traits. We become more masculine because mm. of the high levels of testosterone. testosterone. And um, uh, we also have irregular periods as well. So actually, like, a lot of women are getting this. Mm. A lot of women are getting diagnosed with this. And it's, like, over, like, like nobody even knew about this thing. And just over the past 20 years, mm. it's, it's, like, escalated growth of the amount of cases of this hormonal imbalance. And it's almost, like, 8 to 13% of women have this um, imbalance. And uh, so, yeah, like almost all my friends, like I know them, they're like, oh, I also have PCOS. I also have PCOS. I'm like, what? Like, this is crazy. And even I didn't know, like, like the doctors couldn't even diagnose me either until like lockdown time. Finally, I got diagnosed and I was able to get some treatment. But it's kind of a lifelong thing because even if I eat like junk food even one time, that affects my whole hormones. And it's like we have to be in a very, very strict diet, like completely clean eating, exercise, Mm. very low stress. I can't even be drinking coffee, but like I need coffee because like it's so hard for me to function because I'm always tired. My body's always tired. My bones hurt. You know, it's so difficult. So it's kind of like this endless cycle. Mm. And then it's so hard to break that cycle. And even if you just like again like start the cycle like it starts again because does, it kind of, does that kind of make sense like the mm. hormonal hormonal cycle and even getting children is also difficult as well not not for all because each woman has their own like symptoms but like that's very common yeah. so yeah this is affecting a lot of women and i think a lot of the causes are our lifestyles mm. so the way that we're living like recently like there's so, so there's such high stress levels in the world so stress is increasing um, mental health issues is increasing and also you know our environment it's full of stress it's full mm. of pressure from society and another cause I think is microplastics mm. so um, there is research linked to microplastic in the environment you know how like people are like oh microplastics plastics are affecting our environment right but what about what is it doing to our bodies like nobody's really thinking about that like how much it's affecting our actual human bodies mm. they're talking about how it's affecting animals and plants and all these things what about us and there's literally a direct link that um, consuming microplastics because we are consuming it even just drinking plastic water bottles that's consuming microplastics just even consuming that is actually affecting all our hormones and around the world like there is a low sperm count mm. in men like that's like it's like proven like the sperm count of men it's become lower and lower and lower and that's redu- like that's causing infertility you know more infertility rates and then in women they're getting more hormonal diseases hormonal imbalances you know so many cases of hypothyroidism thyroid problems uh, ovary problems you know brain problems all these things that's increasing 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 mm. so we really need to raise awareness to have a healthy environment a healthy lifestyle you know reducing pollution reducing plastic use because plastics is, are really affecting our bodies as well as you know having healthier lifestyles we need to eat healthy we need to take care of our health you know exercise meditate have a healthy you know diet things like that is really important because people are just eating junk we're just eating junk and crap and it's not going to help us it's 
even in America, like one in three people are obese, and that's crazy. And in Nepal, it's not not many people are obese because the diet here is actually kind of healthy. Like it's pretty healthy, but still, like a lot of people are eating chow mein, momo, chatpate. You know, that's not good to eat that every single day. Mm. Chips. Mm. So, mm. yeah. So we if we like raise awareness about these issues and we start incorporating healthy lifestyles, that will really benefit our society mm. today. Mm. I'm, w- I'm going to be very honest with you on this, right? I really, I've, I've talked about this before. I really want, especially, I have a lot of young food vloggers who listen to this show, right? Mm. I want at least one of, not even one, like at least once a month, do one healthy food vlog. Or more than one, w- please. At least one, right? <laughs> I'm just saying, right? Like, at least do one healthy food vlog because I kind of ask you, Bhavani, and this is a salad 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 department store salad restaurant food source food source last department store and do that a fruit in a little over there with him a salad. One of my bond that again, and it would eat Kiki Goddess. So, at least I've, I've been telling my food blogger friends, especially the young ones, and at least once a month, do one, uh, get the early Timmy Tot Party, so we took money, say, which was after the year that again. You would say, I'll get the early garden, the cotton, 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 the you getting me what I'm trying yeah. to say? In a restaurant, they know when you got in a cotton, you get the order home, when you got in a cotton, you get the order home, when you got in a cotton, Like, have you noticed, like, they call it a diet to eat healthy food? And, like, the thing <coughs> is, like, it should be switched around because healthy food should actually be our daily food, our daily lifestyle, you know? Like, it's not, like, it shouldn't just be, like, a diet. We go on a diet for one month. <laughs> My diet plan is <laughs> My diet lettuce plan. and exactly. broccoli, but that should have been uh, that's, the other That's what around. God has made, actually. Mm-hmm. Like, God made all these fruits and veggies and all these things, like, for us. And we're literally eating junk, like, the processed foods, but they're so good. Like, have you noticed that? It's so delicious. You just want to shove burgers. as well. <laughs> like, our brains have been, like, you know, of programmed for that now because we're used to that. Just sugar, 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 salt. Marketing. Bunny. Marketing bunny, you know, like uh, burgers, fries, fried food. Fried food is so unhealthy. Oh my gosh, but I love it. I love, I love fries. I need to make them research. Need to seed butter, nishkiko oil, haru, especially sunflower. Mm. And must it though? I really can't get it. Or would say it's not healthy. Man, it's not. I saw research. Ma, it's really not. Olive oil or coconut oil is better yeah. options. That is, the this kind marketing going to this kind. I mean, use car some. I depending car. I think use by raw la. That you it'll take some time. That I feel it's a conscious um, to say adapt going to Barca yeah. for sure. And it's so expensive. Like healthy food is more expensive than junk food. Like that's anywhere in the world. Yeah, uh, everywhere. Yeah, not just here. Eh? Exactly. Anywhere in the planet. Uh, you know, last <laughs> month to to your uh, salad. Kinda keri koti paisa kharcha man sir. Uh, Udenga re kere your fast food restaurant ma yeah. burger fries kinda re koti paisa kharcha man sir. This month the Akash Patel ko difference hai unse ni thay. Why? Mm. That's how that's how life is. Or uh, kukura say uh, they. PCOS my ad gone for the hair is a hormonal health or uh, the disorder cook body mom the kura got you minor microplastic panium food habits one him or could say stress lipani it really mm-hmm. it's yep. a stress induced hormonal disorder as mm-hmm. well I know not just PCOS but uh, thyroid okay. I have hypothyroid so there are so many things that actually triggers certain disorders in your yep. body okay? so you got to be mentally you know mm-hmm. stress free as well um, mentally conscious about many things. So there's so many things uh, attached okay? mm. um, for it to really come out in the worst way possible. Malavan hypothyroid, sir, so I gain weight easily. Mm. Uh, and mm-hmm. this is the mood swings or the rise, which I had no idea. Paila. And I feel like I'm going to 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 feel like I
अनि यस्तो कुराहरु चाहिँ पहिला हामीले डिस्कस पनि गरे थिएनम फ्यामिलीमा पनि धेरै थाहा छैन जन पीसीओएस भन्ने कुरा त पीपल डिन्ट इभन नो अबाउट पीसीओएस अस्ति भर्खरै वी डिड के रे प्यानल डिस्कसन त त्यहाँ डाक्टर्सहरु चाहिँ थाहा छ तर स्कुलमा इन्टरेक्सन प्रोग्राममा व्हाट इज पीसीओएस भन्दा नो बडी न्यू व्हाट पीसीओएस वाज हैन पीसीओएस को शब्द पनि सुनेछ छैन त्यसको फुल फर्म त अब परे जाओस सो नाउ बिस्तारी चाहिँ आई थिंक आफ्टर जेन को त्यो एडभोकेसी अबाउट दिस पनि पीपल आर काइन्ड अफ रिसर्चिङ मैले आफै रिसर्च गरे मलाई पीसीओएस भनेर थाहा थियो मेरो वान अफ माई फ्रेन्ड ह्याज इट तर के हो भनेर मैले कहिले रिसर्च गरेको थिएन बट आई टुक एन अपर्चुनिटी टु रिसर्च अबाउट इट अनि इट रियली इज लिङ्क्ड टु सो मेनी थिङ्स रहेछ है सो या सेम बिकज आई हेड नो आइडिया वट पिसीओएस इज होइन अनि सम्बडी मैले अघि नै भने नि होइन सम्बडी क्लोज क्लोज भेरी क्लोज टु मी जस्ट गट डायग्नोज विथ इट आई बिलिभ होइन अर केही समय अगाडि होला होइन अनि मैले गएर अफकोर्स के के हप्ता अगाडि चाहिँ मैले गुगल गरेको थिएँ कि होइन एन्ड वेन आई रियलाइज दैट यू ह्याभ द सेम एज आई जस्ट वान्टेड टु टक अबाउट इट अनर एन्ड थ्याङ्क यू कम इट्स बिकम एन एपिडेमिक एक्चुअली इट्स लाइक अ साइलेन्ट एपिडेमिक यू नो हर्मोनल एपिडेमिक people talk about you know other like viral diseases and everything but this is also in a way mm. kind of like a viral <laughs> mm. hormonal imbalance that almost everyone is getting it's it's crazy mm. the amount of people mm. getting these hormonal imbalances it's 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 insane okay yeah. uh, that costume is funny i'll give you an example yes so uh, do me a favor x open rithik roshan's latest instagram photo <laughs> and this is linked to mental illness as well yeah. extreme huge correlation N- no shadow of a doubt i'll give you i'll give you i'll give you a perspective about uh, a slightly something different right okay. because in zamane we tend to push ourselves so hard right mm-hmm. looking at celebrities and looking at like famous people mm-hmm. and looking at like people who are going through a lot to get get mm-hmm. where they are right mm-hmm. no? You cost to answer, but you see, Bakar, you malay nae. I'm I'm just gonna talk about uh, like how I how a lot of things make me feel. I know. I'll get told out. Open that picture. That. Open this picture. I know. Oh. So I'm glad that he posted this. I know. Start to finish, man. Here he posted this. I know. It doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen just like that. I know. From a a a, a human being at his age, I know he's probably in his like late forties or like, I know, to turn into that. And it doesn't happen without supplements. And it doesn't happen without taking a lot of other things. I know. Thank you, X. Do you costumes? I know. I'm here so I know. I know. I'm like saying we can be that, right? Mm. You, we cannot be that. And so, you know, because it takes a lot of different things to turn into that. And so, you know, and a lot of friends probably expect. Okay? And so, so much pressure. So much pressure. I right? know, so much pressure yeah. to go ahead and like. I, I'm just giving an example of a human being who I who who I really like. And so, you know, but to suck it in, I get you. Mm. Saying, you know, it's next yeah. to impossible and when you push to be something like that without the right guidance and the right help no. and a lot of other things you know which I don't want to get into right now mm. you know you get hurt okay mm. yeah you kind of get me what I'm trying to say like mm. you really get hurt a lot of friends at the gym probably will look at that and want to be that mm. but without the right guidance like they'll end up in they'll end up doing yeah. a lot of different because things because everybody has different body type different mm. their hormonal structures or like mm. certain diet may work for you might work for you not for me mm. so i mean let's say you that but i might need to go to the trend to kunsa diet go my god but it didn't do good let me talk about keto banana keto diet <laughs> Didn't work, didn't it didn't work. It didn't work for me, but it works for a friend of didn't mine. Didn't work for me. And um, mm. you know they did amazing. But later I found out you have to be you know prescribed by your physician, right? How about Nikura, you know? Oh gosh. Which I didn't know. Which I just followed because there's a trend, Banira, you know. They think that I know you gotta lose weight, Banira, you know. So ekdamay the us agi my business ko kura ma jati research ma emphasize kore. Afno health ko. Like you have no bodybuilding, so I could like it. But any research, they're gonna pour. So what is good for you? Mm. Get yourself checked before you, you know, uh, exactly. do any sort of diet. Uh, yeah, I used to diet as well a lot, and I thought I was obese yeah. when I was a teenager. But I was actually very skinny. But I've always been big boned. 
you know, I've always been taller, big boned, but people would always bully me, you're fat, you're obese. And I, I felt mm. like I had to starve myself. And I also wanted to be a model when I was a child, you know, mm. teenager, I really wanted to be a model. And I was so thin and I look back and I was like, I was literally so like, I was like half my size right now. And I thought I was like obese at that time. I had really, really bad mental pressure. And yeah, so like, like she said, like going on these extreme diets mm. and I used to like, I wouldn't even eat food, like nothing. And it was horrible. And I think that later also affects your metabolism where you gain weight later as well when you go on these extreme diets. Mm. So like now, like, cause I gain weight so easily now that also messes up your hormonal imbalance. That mm. could, that could also be a trigger, you know, that's stress. So mm. for hormonal diseases. Yeah. It's all interrelated, mm. correlated, Everything. interrelated, yeah. I know. Mm. Because uh, stress, um, sometimes you overeat, Ola, sometimes you do not eat at all, Ola, which kind of messes up your whole hormonal system. And if you're hormonal, you have a weight gain. You have a weight gain. You have a lot of issue. So weight gain, because of that, very stressly, mm. exactly. Oh gosh, I'm like now again, yep. you know, gaining weight, but then I have to lose weight, but so you really need to first thing first filter out the information that you are getting. I feel like it's a lifestyle ma rakni or na rakni kurama pani filter out korna pario. And the next thing say you hold I feel like how na pario ke stressly kati ko say affect korsa not just yeah. hormonal health ma stress theory dio bani heart diseases or bani hunsa yeah. bani kura prove pai kasa. So there's so many things, I know, uh, related to one another. Mm. So I do advocacy mapani. She's mm. heavily talking about PCOS, hormonal health, body positivity, and mental health. And every all the four topics mm. are related to each other. Yep. So I le, we recently actually shot a video as well, social impact, uh, voice for change, mm. Yota. Naya competition start Korikasa, Miss mm. Universe ma from this year onwards. So it's my say uh to Miss World, my beauty with a purpose when it a video one on person. I is a Miss Universe the penny voice for change when it is so we recently did a shooting for that as well. How did that you know? go? That was fun. <laughs> She's a born actor, Risa Manikura. Uh. Uh, she was amazing. A uh, post production oh. ma'am, editing my costume. So I mean this my calm girl rasam. So we'll have to send that to Miss Universe. And this was she is my bunny. She's shared a lot of her own personal journey, which uh, I think uh, will inspire a lot of people. So mm. acting Gornamanta, actor Hunamanta <laughs> wanted Bani Rathio, but I actually got to see and witness her acting. It was it was really nice, James. Yeah, so. I love acting. It's mm. fun. Fantastic. Once you come back from Miss Universe from El Salvador, maybe 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 definitely go ahead and get into cinema. Ooh. You never know. Fine. Yeah. You never know. What kind of cinemas Watch do you want to do? <laughs> what kind of cinemas do you want to do? I don't know. <laughs> What's but your I genre? Mean, What's your genre? What I kind of no genre? Idea. Do you? I like drama. I like uh -huh. thrillers. Mm. That kind of stuff. Mm. You know, like mind bending kind of movies. I really like that kind of stuff. So, mm. yeah. Um, uh, I know a friend who is working on a mind bending <laughs> movie. Uh, I'll suggest. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Amazing. All right. El Salvador, what's happening? When is it happening? It's and on, what's the plan? It's on November 18th. And I'll be leaving. I mean, I'm actually leaving next week. She and I are leaving next week to go to New York. Mm. There, we're also going to do a little bit of promotion and fundraising and a meet and greet and things like that. I might do some last minute shopping. And then I'll be moving to, I'll, go, I'll be going to El Salvador on November 2nd. So that's when the competition, it's, a, it's basically a two-week competition because it's not just a one day. Like since day one, they'll be judging me, you know, watching me, watching my every move. <laughs> so I got to be in my best behavior. <laughs> no, of course I can do that. Of course, it's not like that. But um, it's more like, you know, they're watching how we're going to act, how we interact with people. It's kind of like a job interview in a mm -hmm. way because they're seeing like if a girl is suitable to be their ambassador for a year. And it's not just about, you know, being beautiful and being a competition. It's about how much of an impact you can make, how much of a leader you are, how, what are you going to do about these things? So mm. I think, uh, yeah, I'm going to do this. <laughs> excited? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I want to go surfing, and I have to learn some Spanish, too. <laughs> poquito, poquito. Exactly. What are you nervous about? Nervous? Uh, if there's anything. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous about my walk. I kind of felt like I don't, I mean, again, the comparison thing, but I'm not going to compare. I'm just going to keep going. Don't do that. Yeah, I'm not going to compare. Yeah, just be you. You yeah. walk perfectly fine, I think. Okay. <laughs> I'm just scared about my walk and interview, uh, but I think I can do it. I can do it. So, mm. yeah.
Yeah, just be yourself at the yeah. end of the day, right? If you're, if you're yourself, that's the best thing you're going to ever, ever, mm -hmm. ever go out mm -hmm. and showcase to the world. Mm -hmm. If you try to, if you pretend to be somebody else, yeah. oh, then then the problems actually go out and start, right? Yeah. Nongma, uh, mm -hmm. I wanted to touch base on this earlier today. Digitally, how do you do this? Especially this year or in general, in the past four years. And how much has social media really helped, helped you out? Um, especially after the pandemic, everything was put a digital platform. Mai. Exactly. We uh, created a Miss Universe Nepal app. And after uh, a year, Miss mm. Universe created their app. So I Miss Universe Kuman digital platform is really strong. Mm. This might say Hare candidates go information. <laughs> so I did say Jane, if you go to the app, Jane Kopani, you get to see uh, details or you know. So personal accounts or about to say the uh, sorry the pageant uh, fans or they're getting to know their uh, favorites mm. a lot more I mean, it's really made the world and send the like uh, narrower but mm. digitized by current is so we know what is happening yeah. so it is definitely um kind of revolutionize the entire pageantry as well. Digital mm -hmm. I don't know, I tried to shut it out of my So digital mm. uh, this is Miss Universe, they have inclusivity, like they've like given a complete new definition. Mm -hmm. So I think digital um this company affects it because mm. digitally people are so connected and mm. they are also giving out their own opinions about beauty pageants. Paila beauty pageant used to be very different, I know. Yeah. I dare say it's more inclusive. Why? Because now people are also looking into relatability. Mm. I know they want a winner, they want a representative who are relatable, mm. who are real. Mm. Authentic. So Telepani, I think Miss Universe has also been kind of trying to change a lot of things, Ani, which we as a the national organizers also embracing it because we are the ones who needs to, you know, apply it first. Exactly. And then Miss Universe gets the uh, the best cherry on the top one is the best representative. But then um, again, coming back to your question, say digitally, say it's uh, been really amazing. I think how many properly utilize say Gorna Barsa uh, for sure, but uh, it's created a lot of positive impact. PCOS and all of this it's not just limited to Nepal media matra there's a lot of international media attention towards Jane ko advocacy at the moment even uh, Harna Sandhu from last uh, year ko winner Miss uh, Universe ko winner from India she posted about Jane which had never happened why did she post because she saw a post about Jane you know posting and advocating about this and body positivity by Nikura. So this uh, this has definitely helped us also in our journey. Mm. I know. So it's good. No, fantastic. Yeah. Best of luck to you and you. Uh, all the all the all the power within this room goes to you. All right. Best of luck. <laughs> Win the crown. Bring it back home. And, and vote for her. Please. Yeah, please uh, vote for me. <laughs> so we'll be excited. How do we do that? Okay, so you can vote for me on the app. So you have to download the Miss Universe app and then you go to Nepal and uh -huh. then you press vote. <laughs> Very so the first Very vote is for free. First mm -hmm. vote is for free. And uh, the next say you have to pay and vote, but it's up to you this day. Let's get Nepal to win this time. Nepal is going to win. Let's do this. Everything ready? Everything sorted? Uh, what do you call it? We have a yeah. press presentation today. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna yeah. Reveal, really... We're going to reveal our national costume and some of the outfits for Miss Universe. Okay. And we say about the same thing. And she and I are leaving on the 24th. Mm. So I hope that I have blessings for you in this journey. I hope that I have blessings for you in this journey. There's no doubt. And uh, we'll probably release it today itself. So by uh -huh. the time this comes out, the dress is going to be revealed and we're going to show it to everybody as well. Best of luck to you, Jane. Nogma, as always, best of luck Thank to you. you. Thank you, Sanjay. Come any day. All right? <laughs> you know this. Right? This is your home. Yeah. Come any day. Thank you right? so much. Aww. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank Thanks, you, guys. Sanjay, for having us. Thank you, team. Bye. <laughs>
Jazz Studios.